Hello YouTube, it is your boy B -b 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 B3 back with another kicking. You guessed it. Action figure review. You probably didn't think I was going to get this sucker and you might not even know it exists. But this is a figure. <laughs> that uh, kind of surprised me too. It is a Godzilla store exclusive. You know, Godzilla Square. What not. So there's a Godzilla store in Japan. That's only in Japan. And it only sells Godzilla stuff. This is this toy you can only get there. And I got it for $30. Well, $35. Wait. Yeah, $35. Which is actually a good price because, once again, virtually impossible to get in America. And it's a figure of the new Godzilla statue. Yeah, so you know that Heisei Godzilla statue that was just public in Japan forever? Well, it got old, so they moved it indoors to the lobby, and they put a brand new Shin Godzilla statue outside the building. And this figure is a recreation of the Shin Godzilla statue. You might be thinking to yourself, B3, why would you want that? <laughs> Wouldn't you rather have a cool, cheaper figure of Shin Godzilla, your favorite Godzilla design? And I say, I might, but here's the thing. Shin Godzilla's frozen form from the end of the film, I don't feel has really been done total justice in action figure form. I honestly don't think it has. You see, the movie Monster series, which is what this figure is from as well released one but it was in a box set with two other figures they were repaints of the second and third form there's no fourth form it was just the frozen form and just those three figures well i didn't want it one because i already had the second form or not second form the third form the red one and i didn't want a second red one that was the same scope but just slightly different paint so that's one reason and the second reason was, the Frozen one was just a repaint of the regular movie monster series Shin Godzilla with a different tail tip. So it wasn't in the correct pose. If you're going to have a Frozen Shin Godzilla, it needs to be in the right pose, because there's only one pose it's in for the entirety of its existence. And then we got the SH Monster Arts Frozen Shin Godzilla, which was so stupid. Stupid. Hey, for $200, you can have a super articulated version of a character that doesn't move. I'm not going to pay for all that articulation if I only want it to sit in one pose forever. Are you kidding me? I mean, I'd welcome any Godzilla figure that I don't have into my collection. But you have to be joking with that. If they would have done a Figure Arts Zero, which are just straight up statues, I would have been like, hell yeah, that's really cool. I might want that. But they didn't. They just decided to repaint their regular Shin Godzilla and once again put a different tail on it. No love for the Frozen form. Which I guess kind of makes sense because it's barely in the movie and he doesn't move and blah blah blah. But then I saw this statue figure. And the first thing I thought was... What figure is this? I want it. That's the perfect Frozen form. But it's not the Frozen form. Well, it's kind of a mirror image of the Frozen form. Because I think the Frozen form actually faces this way, maybe. You see that? I don't know. But uh, it's kind of in the Frozen form pose. At least for the most part. I mean, to the naked eye, it kind of seems that way. If you're not comparing them side by side. So I, I got my guy who gets me stuff from Japan. I have a hookup. Uh, and he was like, yeah, I'm selling a few of them. I'll hook you up. $35, $10 shipping. That's totally fair to me. And it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So this is kind of my placeholder for the frozen Shin Godzilla form until they release something else. Which I doubt they'll ever do. So this is my frozen Shin Godzilla. This is what I'm counting as my frozen Shin Godzilla, even though it's too dark. But once again, 
It's not trying to be Frozen Shin Godzilla. It's trying to be a recreation of the statue, which it does very well. I was just looking at pictures of the statue before this review, and the statue looks just like Shin Godzilla, and this looks just like Shin Godzilla. So that's great. My favorite Godzilla design. Really nice. This little has got his little scraggly arms, big old toes, gigantic tail. Exactly what you would expect. Uh, some of the paint seems to have been pulled off on the interior of the spines on the back. But I'll live with it because I'm going to have him facing this way anyways. And it's also kind of between spines, so it's really barely noticeable. I only noticed it because I was doing a heavy inspection before the review. Uh, but detail and paint are quite good. I mean, he's one solid kind of shiny color, which is fine because he's a statue. Good, and the detail is, of course, exactly what you would expect from the Movie Monster series. Beautiful. So if you want to have a recreation of the statue in your own home, this is a good, relatively cheap one to have. And since it's a statue recreation, it doesn't need articulation at all. I would have been 100% okay with zero articulation. But guess what? It has articulation, fam. Both arms rotate. Screonk. And both legs rotate. No rotation on the tail, but it's so big that you couldn't really pose it naturally other than the pose it's already in anyways. So they gave him four points of articulation even though they would have been justified giving him zero. Gotta give props to Bandai Japan for that. Gotta give props to Bandai Japan for that. I sp <laughs> like, wow. Good job. Just good job. Good job on this figure. So I'm gonna scree -onk him over there into the corner so that we can do uh, two different things. One size comparisons, but also I'm zooming out so I can show you the tag real well. There's a picture of the statue there. Godzilla Zoo. Pretty cool. You see Godzilla Square on the tag. 2018. I got this figure pretty shortly after it came out. Godzilla Square again. It's more Shin Godzilla E. Movie Monster Series, as I said. Bandai. Interior. Cool. And now you'll probably never see that tag again. It's going in my tag bag. It's going in the tag bag. Oh yeah. So now size comparisons. Simple enough. Let's show Shin Godzilla statue with some other Godzilla figures. Here's the Bandai Creations Fusion Godzilla 2000, Godzilla Millennium. Looking good. Here's the Bandai Creations Gigan. Showa. I believe specifically he's the Megalon one. What's that? You want to see a Bandai Japan figure? Alright, here's another relatively recent one. Serve him. Sever him, whatever. Screonk. Sever him don't seem to get this big, but it would have been cooler if they were this big. What else, huh? You want to see more Kaiju... How about Shriek Thorn, Sophie Spirits, Pacific Rim Uprising? That's nice. That's cool. That's Gucci Gang. You agree to those things? Of course you do. You want to see it with Pacific Rim figure? Here's Valor Omega. Nice. I should have reviewed everyone I've shown, by the way. How about an Ultraman? Here's the Ultra Action figure, Ultraman Geed. I think that looks great, actually. And that's about figure arts size as well. So your figure arts Ultraman will scale the same. And if you want to see kind of a Spark Doll sized Ultra from the Ultra Hero series current scale, here's Jenga Sturum. And I'm going to show two more figures. I'm going to show a YMSF. Gyra, one of my favorite kaiju films, War of the Gargantuas. 
And I'm also going to show an Ultra Monster, the Ultra Monster series, maybe, I think EX, if the fourth form. And yes, I have reviewed every figure we showed in size comparisons. Be sure to check them out if you are interested. So, what are my final thoughts on the Godzilla store exclusive Shin Godzilla statue action figure from the movie Monster Series Bandai Japan? This is not a figure that was necessary at all. <laughs> But it's a figure they gave us anyways. If this had been a general release, I would have been like, why? I mean, I still would have been very happy, but I would have been like, why? <laughs> but it's a Godzilla store exclusive, which makes sense. One store in the whole world, and that store can only be found in Godzilla's origin country. The only people that would really want this figure would be the people that shop there. So, that makes sense to me. They didn't have to spend a lot on paint. It's a totally new sculpt, though. They didn't just repaint the Movie Monster series and say, oh, it's the statue. No, they sculpted the statue. So they gave the statue more love than the actual character's frozen form. Can you believe that? Lots of Shin Godzilla fans might not even know the statue exists. I'm sure all of them in Japan do, but internationally, they probably all don't. So this was more than Bandai needed to do. They could have saved money by giving it zero articulation, and they chose to give us articulation anyways. Uh, it'll go great with your other 6-inch Godzilla figures in your collection. And I love it. It's a great substitute for the Frozen form if you don't like the other Frozen form figures on the market. I wasn't going to get a little gash upon. I might get the gash upon for the first form, but... Only because it's literally the only damn figure of the first form. But that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. Be sure to hit that notification button. Because we have a lot of great reviews coming soon. We have Ultraman, Kamen Rider, Pacific Rim, Gamera, King Kong. We have Power Rangers, Super Sentai, DC, Marvel... All kinds of stuff headed straight to your face right now. So that's it. Thank you all once again for your support. And I will see you all later. Support us on Patreon. <laughs>